the time bombs that go off in this policy if it passes? You want to worry about who wins political fights, about who wins policy disagreements in Washington if there's a confrontation? Look at this. That bonus tax cut for millionaires and billionaires that everybody was fighting about and that is in this deal, when does that expire? December 2012. The additional gift to millionaires and billionaires in the form of reduced estate taxes, when does that expire? December 2012. The earned income tax credit extension that the president pushed for, when does that expire? Oh, December 2012. The child tax credit extension, when does that expire? December 2012. The college tuition tax credit, when does that expire? December 2012. All of these fights get scheduled. They get put on on the calendar once this compromise passes, if it passes. And what you will notice about that recurring date, December 2012, is that it follows immediately the presidential election of November 2012, all but ensuring that, yes, again, the Bush tax cuts will be one of the main issues of that election. Trying to win that fight this year with big majorities in the House and Senate and public opinion already on his side, the president readily has admitted that he failed. The fact of the matter is, I haven't persuaded the Republican Party. I have not been able to budge them. I have not been able to budge them. The reason that what's going on right now in Democratic politics is so important is because if you can't win now, then when do you think you're going to be able to win in the future? That's why Democrats have their hair on fire about this, decide, despite all the insults to them about the fact that they do. That's why Democrats have their hair on fire about this issue, and it's why it makes sense that they do. What is this White House going to be able to do in the future to win these economic fights, these political fights, when political circumstances worsen from what they are now? The president's going to continue fighting this. When these tax cuts expire in two years, the president does not think that they should be renewed. Joining us now, without the benefit of his excellent whiteboard, is the chairman of the White House Council on Economic Advisors and chief economist for the President's Economic Recovery Advisory Board, Austin Goolsby. Mr. Goolsby, thank you so much for your time tonight. Great to see you again, Rachel. So you say that um, President Obama is going to keep fighting the Republican priority to give tax cuts to the best off people in the country. Why do we think it is politically possible to beat that in two years if you can't beat it now? Well, I think there's going to be a fundamentally different economy. I mean, the backdrop that uh, th that the arguments taking place in now is we're just coming out of the worst recession since 1929, and so let's leave everyone alone. But two years from now, the fact that those high income tax cuts don't work, we shouldn't have done them the first time around, we shouldn't do them this time, I think that has to stand on its own, and I don't think it can stand on its own. So I think. In 2012, there's a perfectly good opportunity to kill that.